guys, I'm Justin Davis from Drone Camps RC. We're an official Horizon hobby dealer in the United States. And today we're going to show you how to calibrate your compass on your Chroma. Why it's important and just how easy it is. So one of the reasons you want to calibrate the compass on your new Chroma is that if you have to return to home, if this thing has to come back to the home point, you want to make sure that it knows where true north is. That way it can dictate where you took off from and if it knows exactly where it took off from, if you have a return to home situation, otherwise known as RTH, it will know where to come back to. So very important that we do this procedure each and every time we fly in a new location. If you're in a new location, say you get in your car and you drive 30 miles away from your everyday flying spot, you want to recalibrate your compass. If you fly in the same place every day, you can do it every once in a while, but if you're going to go to a new location, especially if you go on vacation and you go to a different time zone and you take your Chroma with you, make sure that you do this procedure. So we'll go ahead and get started now. We'll show you how to do that. First thing we're gonna do is turn on the transmitter and then the cam Chroma camera drone. We're gonna make sure that we do this outside. You wanna make sure you do this. You cannot do it indoors. Make sure you go outside to calibrate your compass. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay guys, here we are for the next step of the compass calibration on your Chroma camera drone. We're outside, we're in the field, and the first thing you want to grab is your smartphone. Pick up your smartphone, open up your compass on your smartphone, and you want to dictate which way true north is on your smartphone. Once you have that direction established, that's the direction you're going to face when you're calibrating your compass on your Chroma camera drone. So now I know I'm dictated to true north, I can go ahead and start up my SC10 Plus controller. I can turn the drone on, wait for the GPS to load up, and then I'm going to go ahead and calibrate the compass. So be right with you in the next step. Okay, guys, once you've clicked on compass inside your ST10, go ahead and pick up the drone. You'll notice that the drone did start to flash. It's flashing yellow lights on the bottom of it. Go ahead and point at true north. The two front will start to flash yellow. When they do that, they're ready to go ahead and begin the rotation forward direction. Once you get back to level, the next LED light over, face that north, begin the rotation as well. When it comes back to level, the next one in line will want to be true north. So that's these two side ones. Go ahead and flip those toward true north. And when you come to level, the next one again. When you come all the way around, if you've completed it successfully, it'll be all four green on the bottom. Now we know we're good to go, we're good to fly. So now if we have an RTH or a return to home function, we know it'll come back. So now we're good to go. Hey guys, we're back in from the field now. We successfully calibrated the compass on our Chroma camera drone. That was a mouthful. Uh, so we did that. We, we dictated True North with our, our cell phone. We faced our drone facing True North when we did that. We did the Chroma dance. We looked at the LEDs on the bottom to tell us which way to flip next and which way to point it next as we were pointing it toward True North and everything went as planned. If you have any problems, it's gonna show you red lights underneath here. Do it all over again. Turn the drone off first, turn off the controller, turn everything back on, let the GPS load and get a full sat count. You get up to about 18 to 20 satellites, go ahead and do this compass calibration again. Uh, I like to let the satellites load, that's just the way I am. And also, be sure to check out our upcoming video on micro drones. Horizon Hobby has sent a good friend of ours, Elvin Wilson, up to the Drone Nationals to fly and race with other famous FPV racers around the world. Uh, I can't mention any names in this video unless they would like to sponsor the Drone Camps channel, but be sure to check out Elvin Wilson at Nationals. Uh, he will be flying for Heli Direct and Horizon Hobby, so pretty cool. We're going to feature some of the, the micro drones that a lot of us are getting into now. This one is like one of the, the go-to drones that we'll just grab and fly first before we actually fly some of our racer drones. Uh, super easy on the FPV Nano QX, so check that out on our site. You can get a bind and fly version of it for under 200 
$200 and you can get the full blown version with the goggles for around $400. So check out those prices on our website at dronecamps.com. I'm Justin Davis. Thanks again for watching and hanging out with us. Please click subscribe.